The internet is obsessed with gossip. We hear rumours about people that are dating, rumours about people that are broken up, rumours about people that are pregnant, even rumours about people dying. But how much of it is true? There was a rumour that you had passed. Yes, a friend told me that I was dead. That's not true. Is this rumour that I stage-dived at a concert and killed somebody? That's I such a lie. I swear Don't to lie. you. The fact that it's people making rumours. Who was like, hmm, I'm gonna sit at my computer today and just type random things that aren't true. Okay, I know this may look bad, but I've actually got a reason behind it, okay? Just hear me out. In this series, I wanted to put to the test how easy it is to spread fake rumors online. So over the next three weeks, I'm gonna try and spread three rumors across three videos. I'm gonna be targeting different celebrities using different types of rumors and techniques to see what's the most effective and to answer the question of how easy is it to spread fake rumors online. But before we can do all that, I had to make a new account because I didn't want these rumors to be linked to me in any way at all. So first things first, I had to make a place to spread the fake news. So I'd like to introduce to you Likely Pop. Yeah, I know the name's a bit random, but I was just trying to blend in with all the gossip accounts, which all seem to have similar sorts of names. And these accounts have millions of followers. And then made a logo for liking pop trying to copy the same style of the other gossip pages because i didn't want to stand out i wanted to blend in and make people think i was one of them and with that likely pop was born according to the twitter bio the uk's number one source for all music and celebrity gossip and news bringing you the fastest info since 1992 so this was the account that we were going to spread the fake news on but before we could do that i went through and purchased twitter subscription to get myself the blue verified tick because even though the twitter verification doesn't really mean anything now i feel like when people see a verified account part of them still is more inclined to believe what it says three two one subscribe Right. Okay, this is good. And then to give Likely Pop some depth, I went through all the different gossip pages, copied their tweets, and pasted them onto mine. But adjusted them just slightly so no one noticed. So when people check out our page, we look like a real proper gossip page that posts all the top stories. Now, the way Twitter works is it has an algorithm just like TikTok. So for example, if you like Harry Styles, Twitter will find tweets about Harry Styles and then put them on your timeline for you to read. So with that, the first week of making this account was vital because we needed to work out who our demographic was and who our tweets were being shown to. And I had a genius way to work this out. I basically did a tournament of the best Met Gala outfits. So my idea behind this was try and get all the fan bases to vote on my tweet for their favorite celebrity to win, therefore engaging with my content and putting me in their algorithm. But honestly, most of the polls flopped. Most votes we were getting was like 20. We were really struggling to target the specific audiences. That wasn't until I tweeted out one battle which involved this guy, Jackson Wang. As I said, every vote was getting 10, 15, 20 votes. Jackson Wang though, over 100, 200 votes, 300 votes. One even got 600 votes. His fans took over the whole competition and wiped everyone else out of the water. So with that, it only makes sense to make our first rumor about Jackson Wang. However, I had no idea who Jackson Wang but I've done my research. I now know who he is. He's a Korean rapper and he's very popular amongst the K-pop and the Korean sort of scene, which again, I know nothing about. However, I've done my research and from that, here's what I've discovered. So Jackson Wang has a show in Mexico on the 25th of May. For the record, today is the 23rd of May. That's in two days. Now, I want to make our first rumor based around this show because there's a real event that's happening and I feel like that's a good way to spread fake news because if you guys remember my Harry Styles video when I went to the Wolf Alice concert, someone tweeted out that Harry Styles was at the show. They posted no evidence, no proof and people just believed them. So I'm thinking I can just make up a person being at the show with him and create a new dating rumor about them. So with that, I've come up with a few potential partners for him. As you can see, we've got four different Korean celebrities that we're going to try and link him with. From Bait Susie to Taeyeon to Huna to Yuna. I absolutely apologize to any K-pop fans out there that I've just butchered their names, okay? I don't know how to say these names. I don't really listen to K-pop. But basically, I've just done my research on each single one to see what age they are, where they've been, and where they're last seen. Because as I said, this show is in Mexico in two days, right? And all these people, their last location is all in Korea, which is a bit of a problem. Now, if you guys don't already know, K-pop fans are a whole new level of fans. So if we want to trick them, we really have to make this believable. So I can't be saying I've just spotted someone in Mexico that's posted on the Instagram story two hours ago that they're in Korea. I need this to work because this is Jackson Wang's last show on his tour. So I need to make sure I get this right first time. Right, so guys, it's now the next day. We're now one day away from the concert. You might be able to tell it's the evening because I'm trying to go off Korean time, which is ahead. It's currently 7.51 tomorrow there. So I've basically been keeping an eye out on the Instagrams of all the potential targets. And it's going well. However, one is definitely definitely crossed off. Huna's been posting a lot and she's actually been at a concert in Korea so it just wouldn't make sense to then say she's in Mexico tomorrow. I don't think it's even physically possible. So she's no longer an option. Oh, the other three, Yuna, Taeyon and Suzy, they're all still possible. Yuna hasn't posted anything. May Suzy did make a post but it was just an ad which was clearly pre-recorded so that's fine. She hasn't posted anything on her stories. So for all anyone knows, she could be in Mexico. And finally, Taeyon, she has posted on her stories. As you can see, she's posted some makeup then she posted a tissue box and then a selfie. Now, is it just me? Or could this photo be her on a plane on her way to Mexico? See Jackson Wang Lutz. Yeah, so far so good. One is eliminated, but we still got three on the go. And hopefully none of them post anything in the next 24 hours that will show they're not in Mexico. All right, guys, so it's now the next day. It's the day of the concert. I've just been going through Instagram, checking on the potential target stories to make sure they haven't posted anything showing where they are. However, Susie did just post a picture and it doesn't look like she's in Mexico. So she posted this picture right here. The picture's a selfie and then it's a painting and then her painting the painting. Now there's no location, so 
there's no proof this isn't in Mexico. However, I don't know about you, but I'm not really getting Mexican vibes from this. So I am now leaning more towards Taeyeon. Because remember what I showed you last night, the selfie that kind of could look like an airplane, if you imagined it to be one. She also just posted this, and it's just a video of her just sort of hanging around. Again, you can't really tell where she is. And if you listen... So I think she's with a band. Could it be Jackson Wang's band? I think so. As of right now, I'm trying to work out what time the concert is. The time in Mexico City right now is 9.30 a.m. However, for me, it's currently 4.30 p.m. So if the concert is at what I'm guessing, 8 p.m., that's 3 a.m. Oh, am I gonna have to wake up that early to spread a fake rumor? Maybe we should go for like 11 p.m., maybe when the concert's sort of ending. Because the thing is, if we tweet it whilst the concert's going on, people might be like, what, where is she? And try and look for her. Whereas if we tweet it after, they'll be like, oh, what, she was there, I didn't see her. And they can't check because it's over. So yeah, I think we'll go for 11 p.m. So that's like 6 a.m. Oh, I'm gonna have to get up early. Yeah, sacrifices had to be made. But I then spent the rest of the day just reporting on real news just to add to the depth of the likely pop account to make it actually look like an official news source right now the twitter account is looking pretty legit this is how the account's looking we've got over a thousand tweets and as you can see it's just loads and loads of different news from different celebrities from all across the world but the question is are they gonna buy it i'm not honestly 100 percent sure i knew with the harry styles stuff it would work just because i'm a harry styles fan myself and i know the harry styles fans and i kind of knew how to trick them however with this it's a whole new audience it's someone that i'm not really a fan of myself and i don't know too much about so I'm really just having a shot in the dark. Right now, I think I am going to go for Taeyeon just because of her stories. They could allude to her being in Mexico. But I'm going to check her Instagram when I wake up just to make sure she hasn't posted anything else. But yeah, we're going to see tomorrow at 6am how it turns out. Hopefully we can capture some people. I'll see you at 6am. All right, so guys, it's 6am. I'm very tired right now, but it's time to release our first rumor. I've just checked the hashtag. It looks like the concert has just ended. So I've got the tweet ready now. It says, breaking news. Taeyeon has reportedly been spotted in Mexico City tonight, side stage during Jackson Wang's Magic Man World Tour. It sparks new rumors between fans that the pair are dating. So yeah, that is the tweet. Our first fake rumor. Yeah, without further ado, let's do it. Tweet. The tweet is officially out there. I've just got to now hope that this gets put into people's Twitter algorithm and Jackson Wang fans actually see this. Because if they do, I think they're going to be shocked. Now, within the first five minutes of tweeting this, we got our first quote retweet and the person just replied, Que? Which, if you watch my last video where I learned Spanish, I know what that means now. It means what? So the people are shocked. Hopefully, this retweet spreads it to more people. Oh, wait, actually, this person has four followers. Yeah, it's probably not going to spread it too far, is it? All right, on that note, I'm going to go back to bed. I'll see you in a few hours when hopefully our rumor has gone viral. <sighs> Guys, it's been a few hours. It's now quarter past 10. However, the tweet's not looking good. It currently has a total of 950 views, four quote retweets, and five likes. I thought there would be a lot more outrage about this and just people trying to work out if this was real or not. But no one seems to care. The quote retweets are all in Thai and they're, they're quite hard to understand. Like this one says, Ah, give me another chance to rewrite the news again. Don't tell people who look like they're not funny. Link writing like a child who never played with Link. <laughs> What does this mean? I don't know. So yeah, it's not looking the best right now. So today, I think I'm gonna try and artificially push this to some people by trying to tag some Jackson Wan fan accounts in this and be like, oh my gosh, do you think this is real? And hopefully then they start to share it. All right, guys, so what I've done is I've changed my Harry Styles Hugh account, which was the account I used in the Harry Styles video. I've now changed that from Harry Styles Hugh to Jackson Wang News. So we're now a Jackson Wang updates account. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna act like a confused Jackson Wang fan who's seen Likely Pop's tweet and ask people, wait, is this real? And hopefully it gets the attention it needs. So that's exactly what I did. I tweeted out on my undercover fan account saying, wait, is this real? Did anyone else see her there? And then just tried to tag as many Jackson Wang fan accounts as I could see. And with that tweet, Okay, it is sent. And then as a backup, just in case none of them saw that, I then DM'd loads of Jackson Wang fan accounts, asking them if there were any group chats that they could add me to, so I could infiltrate the group chat, send them like and pops tweet, and get them talking about it. I was honestly trying everything I could, but nothing seemed to be working. Right, guys, it's been multiple hours. We didn't get a reply about the fan group chat. However, I've just seen one thing. I've gone onto Taeyeon's Instagram, and she's just uploaded a picture, and there's 10 different images on here, all different ones. However, look at this. The last one, she's on a plane, or she's traveling somewhere. You can't really see where, but you can see she's the headrest on. She hasn't tagged any location. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to double down on this and I'm going to post on Likely Pop again saying proof that Taeyong was traveling to Mexico. Here's a picture of her on a plane. All right, so I wrote the tweet. It says, update. Taeyong posts a picture on Instagram of her traveling. We don't have confirmation yet, but it's suspected to be her flight to Mexico. As she was spotted there last night watching rumored boyfriend Jackson Wang's final show on his South American tour. Let's see what the world thinks. The thing is, I'm literally saying they're boyfriend and girlfriend. I'm the only person reporting on this because I've made it up. All right, and with that, 
tweet. So hopefully people start to buy it because I'm not gonna lie, it does look legit. Well, only time will tell because we haven't actually got that much time because realistically, if Taeyong posts something on her Instagram showing she's not in Mexico, then this rumor is finished. So we need people to start believing it fast before they realize I've completely lied to them. <sighs> Guys, I think this rumor is officially over. It's not looking good. As of right now, the tweet does have over 4,000 views and 22 quote retweets. So I thought it was going well until I checked them quote retweets. Yeah, let me just read some of these to you. Lol, spotted. Spotted by who? Why you open this account? Get attention by life. She's in Seoul practicing every day and night. So yeah, apparently she has a concert that I didn't realize. I mean, it's not till next week. In fact, it might even be longer than a week away. So she could still have gone to Mexico and come back for her concert. But apparently these fans know her exact location at all times. And someone else just said, sure, great. Grandma, let's get you to bed. I mean, I can't lie when it comes to K-pop and this sort of stuff. I am a grandma. I don't know anything. And it has come back to bite me because clearly I didn't prepare enough. Oh, we just got another quote retweet. What does this one say? PTDR. I read some bleep on Taeyon, but this one is amazing. So yeah, they seem to know it's fake and it's all down to me because I didn't prepare properly. I tried to dive into this too early. I didn't really do my proper research. I just kind of guessed. And when it comes to K-pop especially, you can't do that. You have to really know who you're dealing with. And I didn't and I now do and I've made a mistake. I'm sorry. <laughs> See, I think we're gonna have to leave this rumor here and move on to the next. Well, so I thought I was ready to leave this video here and move on to the next rumor. However, I was about to learn that the saying, there's no such thing as bad publicity is actually true. Right, guys. Oh my gosh, you're not gonna believe this. So I've literally just woke up, it's the next day now. I've gone on Twitter and our rumor has blown up. No joke, literally last time I checked it had about 5,000 views. Literally when I showed you. And I've gone to bed last night and I've woke up this morning and look at this. The tweet now had 281,000 views. When I've literally got 40 followers. We've got over 690 quote retweets. But I'm not gonna lie, they are all saying it's fake. But I think because so many people are interacting with it, clowning on me, their engagement with the tweet is actually pushing my tweet wall. And it didn't stop there. It's been about two weeks since I released the original tweet now, and the tweet has over 313,000 views. As I said in the clip, the rumor wasn't very well perceived, but that doesn't really matter because the goal of this video wasn't to trick the K-pop community. It was to start a rumor, and we've done just that. Because if you actually look up the definition of a rumor, it's a current circulating story or report of uncertain or doubtful truth. So that's the thing, rumors aren't supposed to be believable, and people aren't always gonna believe them, which is exactly what this is. To show you how easy it is to get attention, because it worked. I got over 300,000 views on this tweet, and I have 46 followers. Someone else replied, I don't think Taeyeon knows she's in Mexico City. Yeah, she doesn't. She's not in Mexico. Another one. Nurse, the patient in room 105 escaped again. Yeah, the K-pop community was clowning on me. They knew I was spreading fake news. And they were just calling me a clown. So yeah, the consensus was 95% of people were not believing this at all. They knew this was fake. They could see right through it. However, there was a 5% of people that kind of did believe this, to a degree anyway. If they are, then good for them. Let them be happy. So yeah, some people were open to the idea. However, the fact people were kind of open to it actually made people engage more because people were like, no, this is not real. Literally, this person replied, are you for real? Because they knew it was clearly fake and couldn't believe some people actually believed it. To the point where they were getting a bit personal. He said so many times that he doesn't have a relationship. But the children, jobless and their studies are over here and they have nothing to occupy themselves with. Just to grind their tongues. Yes, I am a jobless child. I'm sorry, okay? I'm just trying to have some fun. And the thing is, as I said earlier, with this, there's no such thing as bad publicity because as long as people interact with it, it just spreads the tweet more and more and more. If people are replying laughing at me, saying this is fake, saying this is so unreal, Realistic. Even calling me a jobless child. Twitter doesn't know what any of that means. They just see that as people interacting with the tweet. So their system's like, okay, we showed this tweet to a lot of people and a lot of people were replying to it. Let's push it to more people. And as I said, in that 5%, not everyone believed it 100%, but they believed it to a degree. Whether it was the fact that they believed that Taeyeon was actually at the show or the fact that the dating rumor had some truth to it. So yeah, with this rumor, I'm counting it as a win. We spread it around. Some people believed it. Most people didn't, but some people did. And we got people talking. However, this is just one of the three rumors that we're gonna release over the next three weeks. And as at the start, each week we try and different techniques and different celebrities. So if you're not already, make sure you subscribe for next week's video because it could be on your favorite celebrity. And maybe it's a rumor that you've actually already felt. For. Yeah, guys, let me know down below if you're a K-pop fan, if you heard this rumor, if you fell for this rumor. And I want to also see your predictions on who you think we're going to target next. But yeah, guys, I'll see you next week for another fake rumor. This has been George Mason TV. Over and out. Boom.